One, go. Welcome to Planet Primus, everybody. This is our first sandstorm of the morning on a planet with O2 predictable of weather. It is week three this week here in Yakima, so table stakes are pretty much leaving the habitat zone, at least from level one, picking up three points per robot that leaves. Bonus points, a total of six points if you can make it off of level two of those plastic habitats on the edges of the field. We're going to come out of our sandstorm period with a score of 20 to 15, a slight advantage to the Red Alliance, and now drivers will take full control with full visibility for the next two minutes and 15 seconds. Apex Robotics over here for the Blue Alliance already has three points of cargo pending in their robot. Up and down the elevator goes. They're able to drop that one off for three. They also dropped off another piece of cargo earlier in the match for three more. Red Alliance very quickly filling up their cargo ship over here on the left side of the field. Total of 12 points just on those easily visible faces. Yep, that's going to be it for them so far. And we've got about a minute and a half to play. Tied game, 26 points apiece. We were working on cargo for most of the match, but now the Blue Alliance, starting here with Apex Robotics, will start working on building this back right Blue Alliance rocket, putting hatch panels on onto the edges of this rocket, sealing it up so that we can send cargo back to planet Earth. Those hatch panels are worth two points apiece on their own. And then combined with cargo, that would be five points per slot on the rocket they can seal up. About a minute left to play. 31, your score tied both alliances. Lots of powerhouse teams here at this event. Some even with some great showings already this season, and especially some last season. On our Red Alliance, we do have the reigning district chairman, Confidential. On the Blue Alliance, we have a team that already was finalist at an event two weeks ago, Apex, back at Mount Vernon. 37 seconds left in the match. Two point swing, Red Alliance is up by just a little bit. We're gonna prepare now to head back to planet Earth, go to our habitat zones for safekeeping. Stilts are up already over here on the Red Alliance. We have a level two climb for six points. It's good. Can we get this level three for 12? Yes, we can. That's gonna be the Red Alliance machine of the metal mallards making it up there. Blue Alliance not quite able to catch up so far. There's some ranking points at risk here. The Red Alliance has exceeded or met the 15 point threshold required to get the extra rank point. Blue Alliance is working on it, working on it. Can we do a flip and get up there? We cannot. We're gonna settle for three level one climbs for a total of nine points there on the Blue Alliance. And that's it for qualification match number one. Your first scores of the morning here in Yakima are available. Qualification match one goes to the Red Alliance. Your final score 54 to 46, the Red Alliance, each of those three teams will pick up three rank points towards their average that will start building over these 62 matches. Two points for winning the match and one point for exceeding the 15 point habitat climb threshold. With the scores out of the way, in case you don't know what's going on out here on the field, we're gonna go ahead and play 